you've seen any of my other videos before, then you know that I am obsessed with the free project management tool, Asana. This is what I use to organize my entire business and life. I love it so much that I created an entire online course around this called Up Level with Asana, sharing all of my systems and processes for running my online business. To see all the details, click the link in the description below. The doors may or may not be open, so you'll either be able to join us or join the waitlist. If you're new here, hi, I'm Louise. Here on this channel, I talk all about growing your online business. So if that is something you are doing, definitely hit subscribe down below. In today's video, I thought it'd be fun to peel back the curtain and show you exactly what I use Asana for. As I said, it manages my entire business and life. I am not over exaggerating. And so I'm going to walk you through in this video exactly what I use it for. Using this software has allowed me to be way more productive than before and grow my business a lot faster as well. So it's important to know that Asana is a lot more than just a to-do list. It allows you to streamline and simplify your business, add proper systems, and make sure that you're working smarter, not harder. So if you don't have a project management system yet, I would highly recommend that you add one this year in your business. So I've got the Asana app open on my phone, and I'm going to share with you everything that I am organizing within it. So Asana is broken down into projects. The very first one I have is an overview board. This is where I'm putting all of the most important dates and events throughout the entire year. And I make this project accessible to the entire team. So at any point they can go in and see when the most important things are happening. So this is great because there's never any confusion on dates and everyone is very clear as to what our priorities are. So in here, I can see all the most important dates and we're also documenting what our focus is going to be for every single month. The next one is our big goals board. So this is where I map out all of my goals for the entire year. I look at our annual goals first, then break it down into quarters and then break it down even further. This board is so helpful. It's what I refer back to all the time. It's where I go to be reminded of my goals and to see if we are on track for hitting them as well. I've really figured out a way to make business quite predictable and streamlined. And so that's what you'll find in this project. Fun fact, this one is actually a template which we have included inside Uplevel with Asana. So when you come and join us in this program, you actually get that template plus 13 others that you can install into your account. I love the fact that this is possible. So basically I can create any system, any template in my business and then I can turn around and I can give it to you. So that's what we did in this program. It's really cool. It takes just a few minutes to import these templates into your Asana and then you have all your to do's, all of your systems already laid out for you. So you really do not need to build all these systems from scratch. You can just take the ones that I have created and install it into your account. So definitely click the link in the description below to check that out. These are systems that I've been developing to streamline my online business over the last two years of using Asana. Next, I have a project for all of my CEO level tasks. This is actually where I break down exactly what my focus is going to be for every single day of the week. And then anything that is more CEO level, that is where this task is going. So think meetings, financials, and strategy. The next one I love so much, it's one I use all the time, and that is my ideas board. This is where I document any idea that I have while I'm on the go. So I can be on a walk, come up with an idea for a YouTube video, I can add it in here. And then I have an entire system for how I deal with those ideas and actually turn them into an actual to do. But this is so handy to have because you always have somewhere to store, document those ideas and never actually lose them. And this is because you have Asana on your iPhone. You can also get it on your iPad. So it's really with you at all times. Next, we have sales and marketing. So the first one I have in here is my marketing calendar. This is where all tasks related to marketing live. And as you know, in online business, there's so much that we have to do on the marketing side of things. So producing YouTube videos, any social media posts, any workshop or special training that I'm doing, this is all living on the marketing calendar board. I like to have it in one place because they will often, you know, overlap one another. I'll be able to repurpose content. So I keep it all in one board. So one of the best things about Asana is the fact that we can split up our work into boards or projects. 
So this means that you can log in and just have a very focused view on only those tasks, and then you don't need to be distracted with everything else that is on your to-do list. Next, we have a lead tracker. Having this project has literally made us so much revenue in our business because we are remembering to actually follow up with leads that have expressed interest in any one of our courses. Before I had this board, I can tell you that I was definitely missing out on opportunities. So if you don't have something like this, then I think you might be as well. This is also a template in Uplevel with Asana. So come join us and you'll make back your investment in in the course simply from setting up a lead tracker. Next, I have templates for all of my course launches. So one of the reasons why using Asana is so beneficial is you can actually create templates for yourself as well. So for example, we will do a five-day challenge where we're promoting up level with Asana. Well, we've taken that entire project and created a template out of it. So this includes all of the emails that need to go out, all of the social media posts, videos that we want to create, all the different tech details that we need to remember there is a lot when you do a launch so we have a template for each one of our course launches this is something that I show my students how to set up and has been a game changer for the business Next, I have product management boards for all three of my online courses. So I have Uplevel with Asana, Website the Wows, and Scale with Kartra. And all three of these require a lot of maintenance and ongoing tasks to ensure that they are fantastic courses. So for example, in one of these boards, we have an area where we are collecting FAQs so that we can then answer those, add them to our course area. We also have an area where we are collecting testimonials. So any testimonials that come through, we are documenting those and repurposing them later for marketing purposes. And then we have ideas for improvements and things that we want to add to make them better. So using Asana, actually documenting all of these ideas and systems has allowed us to up our game in such a huge way. Okay, so there's a few more. Next we have operations. This is where those tasks go that are important to the overall functioning of the business. So we have that. So examples include like any technical tasks that we have, any email related tasks that we need to do and just recurring maintenance. Next, we have our business hub board. So there are a lot of pieces of information that you'll need to constantly refer back to in your business. This is where we document all of them. So for example, we have my bio for podcast interviews. We also have all of our affiliate links and programs linked up here and so much more. And finally, the last piece is your personal task. So Asana can be used not just for business purposes, but also for your personal life as well. So I have a personal board here and in it is things like all of the to do's that I need to take care of Charlie, like remembering to give him his medication and take him to the groomers. Then I have personal to do's like doing laundry, grocery shopping, and actually have a template for our grocery list, which I can use every time I need to go grocery shopping. So this whole system is really about getting everything that is in your mind and putting it into an online, completely organized system so that you can get a lot of mental clarity and you don't need to spend so much time trying to remember what it is that you need to do. So any important task or event, it is in Asana. Once I put it there, I do not need to worry about it and it will simply show up on the day that I need to deal with it. So I'll also use Asana for personal projects that I want to come to life. I've told you guys about the nonprofit that I want to build. So I have a board in Asana specifically for that. So in this one, I'm documenting any ideas, anything I've found for inspiration, because you can also upload images and links to Asana. Um, I have examples here and any helpful resources that I found along the way. So rather than just writing this down on post-its or notebooks like I used to, this is all in Asana and then I'm never losing my important ideas. And finally, the last one I want to mention is something we've created for our students in Up Level with Asana and that is our daily affirmation. So we have actually created a file for the entire year with affirmations that you'll receive every single day in your Asana. So this is really great. Once you import it into your Asana, you're going to have one for every single day, which is really just going to help you start the day right and get you in the right mind space to go after your biggest goals. 
So that is just a quick overview of what I'm personally using Asana for. Of course, there is so much more that you can do with it. And as I mentioned, a lot of this, we've actually templated and created systems that you can add into your Asana. So definitely click the link in the description down below to check out that course. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you found it interesting. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Let me know if you have any questions down below and I'll see you soon with another video.